Welcome to my old man's channel. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I don't generally make videos on Destiny 2. Uh, I've been playing it for several years now. Introduced to it by a really good friend of mine uh, who basically nursemaided me through all of it. The beginning anyway. And uh, it's the only first person shooter I've ever played for any length of time. Because in my late 60s, uh, as, as a senior, uh, I get in there and these young guys, 30s, 40s, teenagers, they get in there if I'm playing PvP in a lot of these games, which is all these games are, a lot of them, and they kick my butt. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> basically, uh, I have to, it really has to be special for me to play it if it's an FPS, first person shooter. So, this one's really good. I've really enjoyed it. There have been months of boredom at times. But there have been so many good points. I've played this game almost 1,400 hours on the PS4 and here on the PC. So I obviously have enjoyed it. Now being retired, I have more time to play it. But also being retired and being in my late 60s, my reflexes aren't so good. So it takes me longer to do things that a younger person would get through very quickly. Regardless of that, uh, today I'm going to be <clears throat> doing the final step of this quest right here. A hollow coronation. Uh, it involved several things. I've got them written down here. There was the quest start, of course. Then you had to find uh, a bunch of, uh, I forget what they were called. They were uh, like little poles in the ground that were lit up. I, I can't remember what they were called, but you had to find them in the confluence. You had to go to the Dreaming City and find them all over the place. The confluence, uh, you had to go to the garden. Uh, you had to go to the Atlas Terminal. When you finally did all that, you've got the scepter. And when you started to pick it up, their force field appeared around it. And you couldn't collect it. So uh, then you had to visit Queen Marisol, the queen as I call her. And you had to go and do several quests. Uh, which, again, were not easy for me, but I enjoyed them. Uh, you had to collect parallax, parallax trajectory. And uh, you had to get rifle final blows. Didn't matter what the rifle was, as long as you were using something that had the name rifle. Then you had to, uh, with, in the same thing, in these... Um, I, they were actually in these. Let me show you what they were. They were in these. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Over in the Dreaming City. There were these things right here. You had to do a bunch of these. Astral alignment. Uh, that's where you had to get the parallax trajectory and the rifle final blows. Then you had to kill so many champions. I think it was like 18 or something like that. And you had to use your super and kill another 15 or 18, whatever it was. Then you had to do three strikes, specific strikes. The Lake of Shadows on the EDZ and the Disgraced in the Cosmodrome, which is where you took on Navoda. And then you had to do uh, the, strand, uh, the Glassway in Europa, which is the one with the giant uh, Hydras at the end of it. Um, you didn't have to do them in a strike playlist. You could just pick them right off the, the director, and they were fairly easy. I mean, especially since they're match made, and you can do them with two other people. Got through them pretty quickly, and when you do that, you got three um, three of these Strand of Nobility, they were called. And you took them back to the Queen, and she gave you this thing called the... Uh, I think I've got it right now in my... in my. Let me look here. It's over here, I think. Uh, there it is. It's called the Noble Seal. An awoken cipher lost or pillaged from the dreamy city over years of turmoil. So, to make a long story short, uh, what you had to do was... What, what I have to do now is go and talk to her. I assume talk to her, and then I have to take this strand. She she converts it into something. There it is. You can see it. Uh, seek out an ancient relic known only through a woken myth. Marisol will guide you on your path of discovery. So I'm going to go over there, and we'll talk to her, and we're going to take a look at whether it's... Uh, I've heard this weapon is absolutely amazing. Uh, very much like the, um, the one I use now a lot, the Sunshot. Uh, which is a hand cannon. As you can see, I already have the uh, the catalyst for it, which increases the range and the stability a lot. Uh, I can hit things from way in the distance. It is the best, outside of maybe the Jotun, which is uh, J-O-T-U-U-N or something like that, however that's spelled. and I believe it's pronounced Jotun. Outside of that, this is probably the best cl uh, crowd clearer in the game. Well, I understand this is a frozen cloud clearer, uh, so we're going to see. Oh, I've already talked to her, by the way. I apologize. I already talked with her, and this is where I'm headed next. I uh, forgot that I'd already talked with her. So, 
we're going to go in and we're going to try to claim the scepter. Yep, this is where I found it, right here. Now you'll see it says a new objective. The objective is to claim the scepter. I assume once I do, uh, it's going to, there it is, triumph completed, nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on now. It sits in the kinetic slot, if you can believe that, and is a great clearer. So let me put on this uh, punching out sidearm. Let's put this on. And uh, I believe it takes special ammo. Let's take a look at it here. I believe. Whoop, wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Again, the old reflexes. Um, okay. Final blows with this weapon generate a slowing burst around the defeated target. Then the weapon is optimized for recoil control, increases stability, and you can see it's got tremendous stability over here. Um, stasis final blows transfer ammo to this weapon's magazine from reserve, so you don't really run out of ammo that often when you're shooting it. It's like it's a trace rifle, therefore it shoots like a laser beam. Uh, constraints recoil for every bolt increases stability again 100 percent stability it looks like and lightly vented barrel which greatly reco controls recoil increases handling speed and of course uh there's no catalyst from what i understand the catalyst will show up next week and i'm sure it may or may not be worth it i shouldn't say i'm sure i don't know if it'd be worth it or not i've heard things about it from some uh youtubers like paul tassie who uh, vogue i mean a uh, for uh, forbes who does a column for Forbes and then also does YouTube videos. He says it's uh, it may or may not be worth it. Uh, that's my attitude. And may, the getting it may not even be worth it. We'll see. But regardless, uh, it's got some pretty good stuff here. So we're going to give it a try. Let's switch to it. Load it up here. And then we have to go where this shows us. Oh, there's a rock we have to bust here. I don't know if we're... I guess we're supposed to do it with that. But I almost... No, you do. You have to use this. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool, I suppose. Another rock here. Yep. Load it up. Now, I assume there's going to be enemies up here I'm going to have to take on. So, we'll see. See how this goes. There he is. Oh, he got me. Well, that's the problem with doing something like this. I assume I'm supposed to use the frozen weapon. So that's probably the deal. But my thing is still working. My, uh, my warlock thing. So that's good. All right, let's get, let's bring this back. Yeah, it's pretty good, I gotta say. Took the ogre out. That's what I was trying to do before I died. I believe from what I've understood, what I understood about this, you have to kill all the enemies. Of course, the big guy is first and foremost. So I guess we should keep working on him. Let's use our super here. Got him. Wow, took her out fast, I gotta say. There's still somebody left, but considering it's a kinetic weapon, uh, kinetic slot, pretty impressive. Okay. Who's left? That's it. Return to the queen. 
Morath's subordinate came to my doorstep as a thief. Their death is the price of encroachment. Agur's scepter carves pathways toward one's goals. The compass you carry is based off the same principles as this weapon. In Aldrin's hands, it could have connected every edge of my kingdom. Through Zivu Arath, it would grant an omnipresence within the reef even I could not subdue. Deliver it safely to me. While it may never be Aldrin's, it may yet serve to guide what he has become. Okay. Will it let me go back through backwards, I wonder, or do I have to wait on the mission to end? Guess we'll see here. Yeah, I can't go back through it. Gotta wait on the mission to end, apparently. I will say it's pretty darn cool. It, there, he, uh, he, Paul Tassi and the others that I've watched regarding this weapon, I haven't seen anybody use it, but I've heard about it. Um, this is uh, exactly what they say it is. It's a real good... It's got pretty cool red dot uh, aiming sight, which I like a lot. Can I go back to, oh, to orbit? Return to helm. Well, we'll give that a try and see if I can do that instead of waiting. Yep, it says return to helm to speak with Mara. Okay, so let's rather than waiting, let's go to helm. I don't know what I was thinking there. That's the problem again with uh, not exactly being a young guy anymore. The brain doesn't work so fast. The reflexes don't work so fast. But it doesn't take away my love of games, which, uh, as I've said in my intro video here to the channel, uh, <clears throat> I've loved since the 70s, 1970s. So it's been a 40-year uh, thing for me, a 40-year love of mine. Uh, and I'm going to play them until the day I'm gone, I guess is the way to put it. Or until I can't anymore due to health reasons. Um, you know, things aren't as... Again, reflexes are the big thing. They're not so good anymore. But that being said... Uh, I still love playing, and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to do it until I can't anymore. So let's get over there. Let me pause this, and I'll come back in just a second when we get there. Okay, heading in now. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's head over and talk to the queen. Miss Marisol, the queen Marisol, I should say. This is the final step, I believe, of the quest. I've been working on it for a day or so, so. Cutscene. Ooh. Nice. So you wish to hear the rest of my brother's story? Fine. I will oblige you. When the storm came, Riga and Aga rode the winds to meet it. A fleet of talons at their back. A great battle ensued. The storm took, as was its nature. Many fell, Agar among them. Riga could only watch as he tumbled down, 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 until her heart beat alone. She dove into the storm, giving herself to destroy it. Riga's spirit ascended higher into the sky where she hoped to reunite with her brother. Instead, she met the thing that sent the storm, a bottomless well of grief, unreachable by reasoning or bargaining or violence. A voice in the darkness. <clears throat> and so, Riga gathered her feathers into an aegis of wings to shield the world below. But over the years, feathers broke away. Futility wore thin her resolve. Then, one day, her heart began to beat as it once had. Doubled, distant different, a beautiful echo. Hope called her home. And though she prayed to find Agar there, he never returned. I assume those are metaphors for Aldrin and uh, Mara. Solve? I don't know. 
<clears throat> Alright, I guess we gotta to talk to her again here. I still feel Aldrin's heartbeat somewhere out there. When your crow first stood in my halls, I saw an ember of my Aldrin burning in his breast. Curiosity and a sibling fondness told me I could stoke that ember. I hope it is not a lie. I hope he is more than the last ebb of hot ash from a long dead flame. <clears throat> Many of his faults were not of his own making. Aldrin's decisions were his, of course, but driven by whips in the hands of others. Myself included. I will have to offer him more than an old story of an empty promise if I wish to see that ember burn again. This is the path I led Aldrin down. If certain actors had kept to their roles, I would have wielded Aldrin Salve, <coughs> light bearer. But even Mara Salve cannot control everyone. I celebrate his resurrection in the light. But I detest seeing my brother rewritten, his greater self sloughed away and swept into the cellar. There is still good to draw from who he was. Don't squander it. He needs a star to guide him. Aldrin or Crow, they are the same in that regard. Agar's scepter is yours then, both its burden and the freedom it can provide. Be careful with it, Guardian. He is prone to devotion. Hmm. She holds me accountable for looking after Crow until she gets him back as Aldrin. I, as others have said, I, I'm, I agree. I don't know that I want Aldrin back. Um, he really got dark at the end, especially when he killed Cade Six. And uh, the fact that he was, um, he, he came back as the crow, who we worked very hard for a while now to make into a nice guy, a relatively nice guy, and a guardian of the light, and a, basically a, a one of us. Uh, you know, I don't know if I want him back like that. We'll see. Now I have it. Well, that's very good. I, it's a, been a real good story. Now, when I post this, I don't know that... Uh, that YouTube will allow me to keep uh, the cutscene on there. I don't know if they'll blurp it out or not allow me to post this video. Then again, they may allow me to do it all. I don't really know. Uh, this is probably the first time an old man has posted this particular video uh, about uh, the completion of this quest. I thought about recording the whole thing, but I probably would have talked too much through it and it would have been hours long. So this isn't that bad, the very end. Anyway, have this great weapon now. Uh, looking forward to trying it out. You've already seen everything there is to see about it. Uh, looking forward to checking out the catalyst and seeing how good it is. We'll do that next week. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.